Good morning, everyone. We're just going to let folks join here for another minute or two, and then we'll get started. Okay, hey, welcome. Good morning. Um, very early morning for those of us uh, on the West Coast, but good morning from Northeastern Pennsylvania. We're very delighted that you're joining us um, today to learn more about Wilkes University. Uh, my name is Kishan Zuber, and I'm the Vice President for Enrollment Management and Marketing here at Wilkes. And it is my uh, pleasure to be able to welcome you and introduce you to Wilkes. Before we get started, I just wanted to give you a few housekeeping items. Um, if you have any questions throughout this session or any of the sessions today, um, feel free to use the Q&A box uh, located on your screen, and we'll do our best to answer any questions that you might have. And also, um, we have uh, quite a few different options for you to join us today, and so I hope that you can join us for as many sessions as possible. Right after the welcome, we'll be um, doing an admissions overview. We'll also have an opportunity to uh, speak with folks from academic programs at 11, and we'll be doing a live campus tour at 12 o'clock, and I hope you can join us for that so that at least you get a sense for what campus looks like. So let me tell you at least a little bit about Wilkes University um, before we get started. Uh, each year, Wilkes University um, helps young people um, learn and grow. We have about 5,000 students in total that we teach both on campus and online. Um, we are a national research university and we offer bachelor's degrees in over 40 different disciplines and also high demand master's and doctoral degrees, uh, many of which our undergraduate students move right into um, graduate degrees uh, right through Wilkes. So a lot of our alums actually have um, multiple degrees from the university. Wilkes is located in northeastern Pennsylvania in a city called Wilkesbury. And it's the campus is right in, in town, uh, in the city, but it's nestled along the river banks of the Susquehanna River um, and in the, in the Wyoming Valley. And so it really offers like a park-like setting um, in on an urban campus. Um, because you can't see that today, I really hope Hopefully you can join us for the virtual tour and get a sense for what campus looks like. Right behind me actually is um, Weckeser Hall, which um, is the office of the president. And uh, here to talk to you today is our president, Dr. Greg Kant. And he's actually inside the building and he's gonna give you another introduction of Wilkes and talk more about the things that we think are really valuable about this great institution. So without further ado, I'd like to turn it over to Dr. Greg Kant. Thank you very much, um, uh, Christian. That's uh, fantastic. So um, it is great to welcome everyone this morning. I know for those of you who are on the West Coast, and for a while I actually lived in Washington State, so do love the West Coast of this wonderful country. Uh, it's pretty early in the morning, but uh, welcome everyone. Uh, and it's great to be sharing some, of, some insights about Wilkes and to prepare you for the other conversations you'll have today. Just want to uh, add on to a couple of things that Kishan mentioned about our location. Uh, for those of you who are not from this area, I know a number of you are from Pennsylvania, but if you're not, uh, the Wyoming Valley is a beautiful valley and on, on our, uh, our east is the Pocono Mountains, which are truly some of the most beautiful mountains in this part of the world. Uh, incredible opportunities, accessing everything from ski fields and other outdoor activities. And where we are this interesting mix of an urban campus, and as the virtual tour, tour will demonstrate, we are in the suburbs of the city of Wilkesbury, uh, but also we're surrounded by a lovely rural setting and literally on the banks of one of America's great rivers. Also, another important part of being in Northeast Pennsylvania is we're about two and a half hours from New York City and a similar distance from Philadelphia probably about three and, a, three and a half hours to Boston. So we're located in a great part of the country. Northeast Pennsylvania is, is um, exciting, beautiful and a place to be. Let me tell you a little bit about Wilkesbury. Before I do that, of course, it's always important to note at the moment um, uh, why we're having a virtual, t virtual open house is, um, of course, we're in the midst of a global pandemic. 
So for all of you, I know that uh, for those of you in high school, there continues to be struggles for that, whether you're a junior or senior at high school, the difficulties you've faced. Uh, I actually have my youngest son as a, a senior at high school year, and my youngest daughter just graduated from high school last year. So they are, uh, and we are as a family, uh, profoundly aware of the challenges that you've faced. It also means that all campuses uh, are different, not just because we're wearing masks and staying six foot apart, but a number of things that typified the, ex the student experience aren't possible on campuses around the country. The one thing though that we're particularly proud of at Wilkes is even in the face of that uncertainty, we have been able to remain open. We continue to offer the majority of our classes face to face. And that tells you a lot about the nature of our community, the commitment of our faculty and staff, the preparedness of our students to make the sensible actions that allow us to stay open. So we've got to blend the face-to-face, -face, hybrid, and some uh, online instruction for undergraduates. And while certainly sports activities have had to be curtailed here and essentially all Division Three sports programs around the country, is we're still finding a way for students to be engaged we have students living on campus in a life that feels what a, a college experience should be. But let me tell you a little bit about what makes Wilkes special. First of all, as was mentioned, we're a nationally recognized and ranked uh, research institution. One of the unusual things about Wilkes, um, Kishan described a little bit about our structure, about half our students are graduate students and half are undergraduate. Also, we have a broad range of the professional schools from a large nursing school, uh, education, engineering, business school, plus the range of things you might imagine in a residential liberal arts college, uh, theater programs, all the kind of robust options that are available in that small setting. So we have that on-campus experience, live, live, live within an undergraduate experience that you might expect from an American uh, liberal arts college, uh, but also all the professional preparation that gets you ready for what comes next. We also have the full range of what we call extracurricular or co-curricular activities from fantastic sports programs. I know a number of you are interested in playing opportunities for varsity sport. Uh, we have a wide range of sports. Over the last few years, we've added sports in, such as hockey, which uh, really and quite remarkably, it's only had two years as a hockey program and already we've had outstanding success for our young men and young women. But let me capture some of what I think are the major elements that, that define the Wilkes experience and ultimately the promise that you get if you join this community. First of all, there's the academic uh, experience. We have um, the kind of environment where you will get to know your professors. Professors are welcoming, but they're challenging. To be frank, you don't come uh, to college to, to skate through. College should not be an opportunity. If you earn an A, that's great, but college should be an opportunity to grow, develop, push yourself, try new things. And our faculty are committed to that. Let me give you a couple of, of obvious examples for that. If you've, I'm sure you're looking at all sorts of different institutions. And my personal experience as a student was in large institutions. I wasn't fortunate enough to actually go to an institution like Wilkes. And so in large institutions, what tends to happen is at an undergraduate level, the faculty's focus is really actually on the big graduate programs. Often it's actually uh, grad assistants who teach you in classes. In Wilkes, you'll be taught by a professor and as early as your freshman year, particularly in the sciences and engineering, you might find yourself working in their lab. So conducting research, participating in that research, having an opportunity to present the work from that research at national research conferences is a wonderful, unique experience that happens to Wilkes students. So working with your faculty, getting to know them, knowing that they're gonna push you along they are leaders within their discipline, uh, but their focus is on you. Kind of faculty who work at Wilkes had choices to work at other places. They could have worked, for example, in the large research institutions, uh, but their choice was to work at a place where you'll be in small classes, you'll get to know your professors, and you'll work uh, collaboratively on projects together. We have an excellent honors program. We have lots of opportunities for high achieving students, Fulbright scholars, opportunities are said to produce research and so on. 
So if you're the kind of student who wants to push yourself along, achieve great things and, and expand your boundaries, then Wilkes is the place for you. We're also an institution that prides itself on the opportunities that we provide for professional growth and development. I'm sure you've looked at, there's all sorts of different ways universities are ranked about prestige ranking and all sorts of other things. What is most important for us at Wilkes about rankings is how we've ranked in terms of uh, the impact we have on students' lives. So one of those ways is that kind of economic engine. Are we an institution that helps students push forward as a family? And we're ranked amongst the best in the country for the impact that our experience has on essentially things like your lifetime um, employment possibilities and, and a sort of engine for economic development and economic growth as families and as communities. So we're very proud of that as the thing that puts Wilkes experience as a national leader, essentially in helping students achieve their, their goals. That idea that we're a great return on investment. Again, there's lots of ways you can judge a university. And in fact, sometimes you can, your head can spin about how many ways you can try and understand institutions. But the frank, fact that we rank so highly on return on investment is something we're particularly proud of. Of course, when you come to college, why the focus will be on an academic program, especially for the students who are in a position to be able to live on campus and be part of that whole experience. Academics is really just part of what happens as a Wilkes student. The experience is about active engagement, is that there are essentially continuous opportunities for you to find a way to learn about yourself, develop friends and relationships, expand the, the boundaries of what's possible. Let me give you a couple of examples. Uh, one of the things that I encourage all students to think about is some level of global experience. Now, if you know very much about accents, you're probably going to guess that I'm not from Pennsylvania. So on a very personal level, I've spent much of my life living in different parts of the world because I think it truly makes you a more informed individual, more empathetic, more able to achieve your goals when you've lived outside your comfort zone. So we have opportunities ranging from the short term programs, a lot of great programs in spring break, for example, to full semester programs and so on. And all of them are designed to push your understanding of what's possible. Also, one of the things you can do uniquely at college is you get a chance to work with people different than you who've come to college. So we have, and there's some long reasons for this, we have a tremendous program that brings students from Panama and we have nearly 100 Panamanian students who are part of our community. And their life experience is typically substantially different than yours, as well as the fact that they had to come here in the main and study for a year to get their English up to the level that's needed. They've often come from very rural communities, villages, and Panama is a country that's had a very unusual history. So a chance to get to know whether it's our Panamanian students, whether it's our students from other parts of the world, is a way to enhance your cultural competence. In the best case, we'll find a way to help you get out of the country and do interesting things. But even if ultimately you're going to spend your time here in Pennsylvania or here in the US, you can still expand your understanding of others through the kind of opportunities that happen at Wilkes. Of course, I mentioned before athletics. We have great athletic programs. It really is a tremendous part of the American undergraduate experience. Now, I don't think we have any of our international students on this call, but as someone who grew up in another country, I'm not sure how many people are fully aware of what's uniquely American about college athletics. The Canadians have copied, it tends to happen, but nowhere else in the world has this huge network of opportunities for college students to play really competitive sport. It really is amazing and competitive. It helps define the college experience. A little over a quarter of our students are athletes. They love that experience. It's part of what defines it for them. But also we have students involved in the visual and performing arts, speaker series, all sorts of different things uh, from the kind of student clubs through the formal processes that'll let you find a community. One of the things about college is you, you've typically, in most cases, uh, grown up at some level with a group of people that you've come through high school. Now, I know a lot of people do move around, but for, 
many of you, it's been actually a very stable environment. So coming away to college is in some cases, the first time, for example, you live with a roommate. I know with my own children, the first time they lived with someone else, in other words, not in their room, was at college. Is otherwise they'd been in the family. In fact, they'd always had their own room. So it really gets a chance to change you and learn more about yourself and about others. So what we do at Wilkes is provide those opportunities. You will find a group of people who you naturally connect to, who will provide that community around you. We have tremendous people working in student affairs whose job it is to create opportunity so that you get to, to find activities that inspire you from the kind of things that would drive me insane, the music's too loud, um, through to whatever it happens to be, they will find a way for you to connect. So amazing academic programs, it'll build you up for what you want in professional life. A supportive environment, a great location. Wilkes has a lot to offer, and I hope that you'll find a way to come and join us. Obviously, a virtual experience uh, is at least an important start. The interesting thing is it's allowed probably more people to look at more institutions, which is great. Ultimately, though, what's really important is ho hopefully you get a chance to come and visit on campus. The virtual tour will give you a taste for campus. As I look out the window today, it happens to be a gorgeous day. I'm not sure where you are in the, in the States at the moment. I'm hoping it's as nice a day as it is today, but it'll give you a sense of what campus is like because it is truly a beautiful campus. We're blessed to have that balance of uh, old mansions. Just a little quick aside, the history of this region was that um, uh, it was obviously actually colonized very early. There's a number of things around the Revolutionary War battles that actually happened in this region. Uh, but the big economic boom was the, they found coal. Uh, actually the best coal in the world was, was uh, milled from this part of the world. And out of that, a great deal of wealth was produced. And luckily for Wilkes, a number of the homes built, frankly, by the, the rich barons who made their money out of that, uh, form our campus. So we have this lovely mix of traditional academic buildings and then beautiful old homes. Wekasa Hall, which I'm in, uh, is one of those examples. But in fact, you might find yourself living in essentially a gorgeous old mansion as part of your experience at, at, at Wilkes University. So I've probably talked too long, but thank you very much, everyone. I look forward to welcoming you on campus and I'll hand it back to Kishan. Thank you so much, Greg. We really appreciate your time um, and spending with us. It's a wonderful, wonderful overview of campus um, and the Wilkes experience. So um, we, appreciate, we appreciate your time. We're happy to answer any questions um, while we have Dr. Kant here. Um, and and if, as you're formulating those, um, I'll just say that I think it's really important for you to connect with students. Um, you're obviously going to hear from faculty, staff, administrators today, um, but you will also on the live tour hear from some of our students. And I think part of visiting a campus is actually getting to interact with our students and getting a sense for um, if this is really the right place for you. So you'll have some of that interaction today um, on that tour. Um, as uh, Dr. Kant said, we do offer um, personalized visits. We are doing that on a limited basis, but we do have some opportunities for that. So we would love to welcome you to campus um, if you're able to come and you would get a campus tour from one of our students as well and get a chance to speak with them then. We also do um, some Instagram live sessions with our students. And so if you want to get more familiar with um, our, our students and their experience here, at least virtually, you can tune into our Instagram live each week. We feature a different student. Um, so if you if you're not a, our fan on Instagram or following us, please do so. Uh, and I think that'll really help give you some insight. Of course, you're out there scouring the website and, um, you know, we're sending brochures and emails. Um, but I think making sure that you really get your questions answered. And oh, thank you, Jackie just put up our uh, Instagram handles in the, uh, in the chat session. And um, so we're, we're happy to have you follow us in many different ways. We also have a podcast out there. We encourage you to get your family involved um, and give them as much information as possible. They can dig through. Um, there's lots of different ways to get information. Um, and I think the more that family members are part of this process, you know, we welcome them. We'd love to speak to your family um, in any way if that's helpful to you. 
Um, I know also for some of you, this is your very first college experience for the family. And so we have resources for you to help you through this process. You likely have a high school guidance counselor or somebody. Um, hopefully you have access to them um, during the pandemic. I know that some of you are working um, virtually and remotely from your high schools, um, but you have that counselor resource, but you also have counselor resources on our side as well. So your admissions counselor, you each have a dedicated admissions counselor. Um, that's, that person is really your advocate. They're there to help you. Um, they're never gonna know every single thing. They're never gonna know all those questions. Um, but what they can do is they can get you connected to the people who do know all the, the answers or the right answers. So if you just can't find certain types of information or you want to know more about something, ask them. They probably do know. But if not, they'll connect you with a faculty member or maybe another staff member. Or maybe it's somebody in student life who can talk more. Or maybe it's somebody in the career internship center who can speak more about that particular experience. Um, and my experience at Wilkes is that those people are happy to have conversations with you um, as part of the recruitment process and um, your enrollment process. So we're really here for you, um, a community. Start with that admissions team and um, really reach out and let them be your advocates. We wanna build connections with you. We wanna get to know you um, as much as possible. And so we're gonna call you. Um, please talk to them. They, they love talking to people, but we'll also um, do text messaging if that's easier for you. Um, and then, of course, we're still emailing you. Um, so hopefully uh, when your inbox fills up, you at least are clicking on the Wilkes emails because we have a lot of good, good things to say. But um, without further ado, and speaking of admissions, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn it over to our executive director of admissions, Chris Smiarski. And he's going to talk a little bit about the admissions process, what that looks like, things you need to be thinking through as you are applying um, and getting ready to start this enrollment process. Uh, did, I, did we have any questions? Let me just check that real quick before I send over. All right, good. So I'm going to send it right over to Chris. If you would please take the floor and thank you so much for your time. All right. Thanks, Kishan. Thanks, Dr. Kent. Um, they're going to save all the hard questions for us, so um, we'll definitely be ready to answer them. But um, we're excited that, that everyone's here today and joining us virtually. Um, for where, from wherever you are joining us from, thank you for taking the time um, out of your Saturday. I know many of you are likely busy and back to school, um, whether that's in person or virtual. Um, so we really appreciate you taking some extra time um, out of your weekend when you could probably be sleeping in or, or doing something else um, productive, but this is, this is really cool um, to be able to do this um, and have this opportunity. Um, so I'm gonna share my screen here shortly and go through um, a lot of different uh, steps through the process and give you a little bit more uh, insight um, about Wilkes. Um, I know that Dr. Kent was able to touch on a lot as well as Kishin, but you know, I'll try and give you some of the, the facts and some of the processes and then We'll be able to, to answer lots of questions. So bear with me as I share my screen. Okay, so we're gonna go through a few different steps. As Kishin mentioned, my name's Chris Mayerski. I'm the Executive Director of Admissions here at Wilkes. Um, about 17 years ago, I was in your same seat. Um, I can't believe it's been that long. Um, I'm a double uh, graduate at Wilkes. Uh, so I am an alum. Um, I graduated in 2008 with my uh, bachelor's degree and then in 2010 with my MBA. So um, at any point after today, I'd, I'm always more than happy to talk to anyone about Wilkes, um, about anything um, in regards to the campus, the programs. Um, that's what I'm here for. And, and that's what we're here for as admissions counselors. So we did talk a little bit about uh, Wilkes University um, on the open, um, just so you all have an idea of, of what Wilkes is like. Here's additional information. Um, we have about 2,500 undergraduate students. Um, and as Kishin and Dr. Kent mentioned, um, we do have representatives from uh, different states and about 15 countries. Uh, one thing about our class sizes is they are um, about 21 students per class. And that's really important because here at Wilkes, your relationship with your 
faculty and your advisors are, are going to be extremely important. So having that small class size it is definitely an advantage um, for you. Um, and I really encourage students to take advantage of their professors and their advisors. Um, it, it really makes the experience um, and your future um, a lot more brighter when you use those folks that are here to support you. Um, every, each and every one of our faculty members are here for you and, and it's extremely important. Um, we are a liberal arts um, college, um, so um, hands-on learning is, is an important part of that process. We have over 46 majors um, and we have minors and we have also pre-professional programs. And I'll touch a little bit upon uh, some of that a little bit later in the presentation. Um, as Dr. Kant mentioned, um, we are ranked um, fairly highly in some important areas, um, especially in regards to um, the economic value um, of our institution uh, and how important it is to really invest in your future. Um, so Wilkes does a, a really good job in supporting you um, and making sure that you have all the resources uh, to be successful, whether that's going on to grad school or whether that's getting a career um, directly out of college, what Wilkes has to offer you um, is a process to set you up in a position um, to apply to grad school, um, to go on to a, to a career. So it's extremely important to have these tools um, and that's what we pride ourselves on here at Wilkes. Uh, for those of you that, that aren't familiar with campus and that have never been here, this is um, a picture uh, of of campus and in particular our, our gateway um, you'll see a, a few buildings here um, that are that are going to be important you'll be able to see a few of those later on our virtual tour but um, as you can see um, we are in the city but as Dr. Cam mentioned they're um, close to rural areas as well uh, and there's lots of activities and close to big cities so um, it's a real um, it's a real great campus to be on and for those of you that haven't visited we hope that you'll be able to um, see this for yourself um, in the very near future. A little bit more about our campus life. Um, as Dr. Cam mentioned, athletics is a part of that. Um, we do have 23 Division III athletics. Um, we have over 80 clubs and organizations here on campus. Uh, and if there's a, a club here or an opportunity that, that um, you don't see, you also have the opportunity to, to start a club. So if you have the opportunity to meet with a staff member, all you would need is a staff member um, to advocate for that club and you can start your own club. So we really encourage you to take part in extracurricular activities. Uh, although the academics is extremely important, some of the best experiences and some of the best uh, learning experiences you have are, are throughout your extracurricular activities. Um, a lot of the leadership um, skills that you'll learn will, will be from participating in clubs and sports. So we really do encourage it and um, we, we really try and allow you to have the time uh, to do that. Although the academics is important, um, we want to have the opportunity for you to, to take part in these other activities as well. Um, we're also um, a very safe campus, although located um, in a city. We do have our own police force um, here on campus. Um, and you know, they're um, here 24 seven to support our, our students and staff. Um, so they are, um, very collaborative and they make sure that everything here on campus is safe um, through our alert systems, uh, everything that, that you can imagine, they, they work extremely hard to provide a safe environment for our students um, and our staff. A little bit more on, on student life, uh, in particularly um, with regards to um, academic support. Um, we do have peer faculty and staff mentorship programs. Um, we also have um, advising and counseling available. Um, our health, health and counseling services are um, extremely important, especially this year. Um, these are all the things that when going off to college, you kind of don't think of as sometimes a priority, but uh, when you get to, to college, those things sometimes um, come, come fairly quickly and Wilkes has those resources to make sure that, that you can be successful. So uh, once you're here, you have the opportunity to to do counseling, you have the opportunity to, to have peer and faculty mentorships. Um, it's extremely important to help support your goals. You know, at the end of the day, um, this is, is all about you. So we really try and, and make that focus um, for you. So uh, it's important to, to take advantage of these, of these resources. 
I always like to tell students and, and families, you know, it's one thing to have the resources, but you know, it's also uh, important to, to take advantage of them. Um, sometimes, you know, a, your, your advisor um, or your mentor um, may not come to your door um, and your dorm room at times. So, you know, it does take sometimes that, that opportunity to, to go out and seek some of this, but we do have those opportunities here at Wilkes um, to support your education. This is uh, one of our, our residence halls. You'll have the opportunity to see some of our residence halls. I know that we have some virtually as well, so you may have seen some of them. We do have mansion style, um, apartment style, and, and um, typical uh, residence halls here at Wilkes. Um, so there's, there's a, a bunch of different options um, from traditional to apartment style um, to our mansions, and, and you'll get a chance to see some of them later today. Um, some of the additional amenities in our residence halls. Um, all of our, our residence halls do have these basic, uh, these basic amenities. Um, typically, um, dresser, desk, and chair. Um, you do have your own closet space. Um, and then wireless and ethernet um, are also available. Um, we do have uh, an IT staff here that's always available to assist our students, especially um, in these times. Um, but even um, prior to COVID and after COVID, our IT staff is always there to support our students um, to make sure that they have the best access um, to information um, so that you can get those things done when you're learning here at Wilkes. Um, now to the admissions process. Uh, some of you here may have already started the admissions process, so we thank you um, for that. Uh, we will be here at all times uh, as, a, as an admissions team. Our admissions counselors, as Kishan mentioned, um, are going to be your advocate and are going to be there to help you through the process. Uh, a little bit about our process. Um, since you're joining us um, here virtually, um, we'd like to offer you a fee, a fee waiver of apply now. So when you um, do start your application, we offer the application um, on our own website, but we also are part of the Common App. Um, so whether you apply through, through the Wilkes website or the Common App, um, we do um, offer you this fee waiver of apply now. Currently, um, we are a test optional for this cycle. Um, so the main requirement for, for you would be your official high school transcripts. Um, if you do have your uh, SAT or ACT scores, um, you'd still have the ability to submit those, but they are not required. Some of our special programs do require uh, some additional steps um, in the process. Um, for performing arts, um, you would be required to audition or interview, um, depending on which program in performing arts you're applying to. Um, and then for our pharmacy guaranteed seat program, um, there are additional steps in the application process. Uh, for those students applying through the Common App, we follow up your application with an, an email that explains those steps and how to access your um, Wilkes application portal. Um, so for all of our students applying through the Wilkes website or the Common App, um, it's important to continue to access your portal and see what steps um, are outstanding. Um, so that portal will tell you that we received your official high school transcripts. And then for students that are applying to pharmacy, um, it'll also let you know that we received your uh, professional letters of recommendation, your pharmacy related essay. And then from that, our admissions team will, will work with the pharmacy department and they'll determine whether students are not uh, qualify for an interview. And then we'll alert you as to those next steps. So. For, for those specific programs, there are some additional steps, um, but for the most part, we're in communication with you throughout the entire process. Uh, from the time that you apply um, to the time that, that you're admitted, we'll be there um, to help you along the way. So those are, are some important things um, in regards to the admissions process. Um, as I mentioned right now, uh, the main requirement uh, are your uh, official transcripts from high school. So if you're working with your guidance counselor, uh, our college guidance counselor, um, please have them submit those once you apply and we'll start with the process. If we have um, any transfer students uh, on the call here, um, the, there's some um, additional steps um, for our transfer students. You can apply the same way, either through our website or through the Common App. Um, continue to use the Apply Now fee waiver. 
and then have your official college transcripts um, sent to us. Uh, depending on your situation specifically, we may also require a high school transcript. And for those students that have SAT or ACT scores, uh, we may also um, recommend that you submit those as well. But just like our um, undergraduate um, first year students, and there also may be additional steps for some specific programs um, like performing arts um, as well. So we have specific admissions counselors for our transfer students that will also take you through this process. I'm going to take a, a pause for a second and see if there's any questions before I continue to, to move on here. You're good, Chris. Okay, thank you. So next time I'm gonna get into uh, some of the financial aid. Uh, a very important part of the admissions process is the affordability of your education. Um, so here at Wilkes, um, we, we do our best at, at trying to provide a situation um, for our students that it can also be affordable. Uh, so at Wilkes, about 90% of our undergraduates receive some form of financial aid. Um, these include scholarships, grants, and then any types of, of funding, whether it be from the federal government or work study funds. Um, there's a, it's an important process um, to go through to see um, what you're available for. Um, for our first year students, um, we, this is actually updated. Um, so we have scholarships up to $25,000 per year now. So students um, at the highest merit level will be receiving $25,000 um, per year. Uh, so that would be um, up to $100,000 for your undergraduate studies um, for those students earning uh, that high scholarship tier. Um, in addition to our merit scholarships, um, we also have grants that are available. So um, two examples uh, of grants are we have an out-of-state grant for our students applying from out-of-state. Um, so that would be $2,000 on top of your uh, merit award. So if you were to receive a $25,000 merit award um, and you're from out of state, um, you're automatically um, offered that $2,000 out of state grant. So that's $27,000 um, per year um, right off the bat. Um, and that's over two thirds of the tuition um, here at Wilkes. So it's a, it's a really good start for our students. Um, and just because um, a sticker price um, at a school doesn't mean that might not be affordable to you. So we really encourage our families um, to go through that um, financial aid process and really see um, what that investment would be like. Um, in addition to our out-of-state grants, um, for our students that are, that are local, we just launched um, a, home a hometown advantage award. Um, so for students residing in Luzerne and Lackawanna County, um, there'll be an additional $2,000 um, on top of your merit award also. So there's a lots of opportunities for our students in regards to financial aid. So we really encourage you uh, to go through that process, to ask the questions about financial aid, about the scholarships, so that you have the most information to make the best decision for you and your future. In addition to, to that, uh, we do encourage uh, families to file the FAFSA. So for students that are, are filing the FAFSA, we just make sure that, that you file the FAFSA um, on fafsa.ed.gov because it is a free application. So we don't want you to pay for that. There are some sites out there that do, uh, that do help students file the FAFSA, but they also do require fees. So um, just make sure that it is a free application when you're filing that FAFSA. From the FAFSA, there may be additional financial aid available for you. So we really encourage our families um, to file that FAFSA. For students applying this year um, for fall 2021, the FAFSA um, would be available to uh, submit to us um, as of October 1st. So we'll remind um, you of that uh, for those students that um, are, in our, are in our email list. You'll be uh, alerted to that um, and, and we'll let you know of those important deadlines um, as you go through the process. Just some additional um, financial aid information. Um, as a reminder, we are recording this and, and we'll make it available to you. So um, you don't have to, to screenshot any of this information, um, but um, it, is, um, it will be available to you. And we'll um, give you, once again, a lot of this information through our follow-up. Um, the admissions counselors and our financial aid office 
are extremely helpful. Um, so please lean on them um, for support and to ask us questions. One of the, the most important things that um, Dr. Kant touched upon um, is, uh, is our career outcomes. Um, at the end of the day, um, you want to come here to Wilkes um, to set yourself up for, for your career and your future. Uh, and nothing's more important than these, these career outcomes that our students have um, when attending um, Wilkes. Um, in addition to these stats here, which I'll go through, um, I did want to um, highlight some, some real outcomes and some recent graduates, but also some um, graduates uh, of the past. Uh, one of my one of my classmates I'll highlight first um, is uh, currently a um, an MD. He's a uh, board certified physiatrist um, for a cancer uh, spine center. So you know he he attended Wilkes and went on to to med school and is now um, a board a board certified uh, physiatrist down in in Florida. Um, we also have a, a recent graduate. Um, his name is Danny Devito. Um, he is a digital designer for Spot for Fox Sports um, out in California. Um, so that's a, a more recent example. Um, and then we also have a, um, a fellow graduate um, who is the director of the U.S. National Counterintelligence and Security Center um, in Washington, D.C. So there's a, a number of successful outcomes, and, and we can go on um, for days and highlighting uh, our students. But the most important thing is that they got their, their start here at Wilkes. And we talk a lot about the, those opportunities, the research opportunities, opportunities to, um, to do research with faculty, uh, to present at conferences um, throughout the country and even overseas in some of the study abroad uh, opportunities. So there's so many opportunities for our students um, to have that hands-on experience. Um, and a lot of those experiences lead to um, internships and career opportunities before students even graduate. Uh, so if it's med school, uh, we, have, we have staff here that specifically work with our students and preparing them um, to apply to med school. Um, if it's law school, um, we also have a pre-law program uh, where we have a pre-law advisor who, who takes our students through those steps to make sure that, that you have all those resources. Um, and then if it's grad school, your advisors and your faculty are there to support you. Um, we have um, career advising offices that, that do mock interviews that, that set you up for those, those difficult interviews where you may be up against students from all over the country um, for an internship. So we really take the time to invest in you and make sure that you have those, those resources so that you can have opportunities similar to the students um, I've just highlighted. So once again, a lot of what you get out of your, your career and your education is what you put into it. So it takes, a, it takes a, both you and, and our staff, and we really have the staff here that, that's willing and ready to, to help you and help you succeed and be successful. There, at the end of the day, there's no limits to, um, to your dreams and what you want to accomplish. Uh, so here at Wilkes, we're just here to support that and try and put you in the best situations to do that. And these are just some examples um, of how we do that. That kind of wraps up um, for, for my portion uh, of the presentation. So, you know, at this time, um, we'd be happy to answer any questions. Uh, we have about 10 minutes uh, that we can do so. We want to give you a, a few minutes uh, so that you could get off to your next session. So please feel free to ask us um, any questions that you have. Chris, we don't have any right now, but we did have a question about um, earlier about the essay, um, if that needed to be submitted um, upon applying for to Wilkes. Um, maybe if you can talk a little bit about that. Um, Maureen did answer it in the chat, but maybe just so everyone um, is aware. So the question was, um, upon applying, do I need to, to submit an essay? So there, there is no requirement of an essay for our pharmacy students. Um, we do have that requirement. There is an option to submit an essay. So if you have an essay that, that you would like us to read um, and, and you have a resume, things like that, we do um, take those additional materials 
um, and we would consider them. Um, in addition to, to that information, there is another um, important update and another option I do want to highlight. Um, we, are, um, we are doing an early decision option this year for our students. So when you apply through our, through our application or the Common App, there'll be an option for our students to select early decision, early decision or rolling admission. So um, our early decision um, deadline is November 15th. Um, and those students do have um, some incentives um, to, that, to that process. You have uh, preferred access um, to housing and you also have the opportunity um, to have preferred um, advising. So you have the opportunity to meet with an advisor uh, typically in the spring. So if you're applying for this fall, you have the opportunity um, prior to our other students that are applying regular admission and rolling admission to meet with an advisor um, and talk about your specific program. So we do encourage those students that, um, that are interested in early decision to apply that way to have those additional incentives available. And there's additional information on our website um, about that as well. That's awesome, Chris. Thank you for bringing that up. Um, we do have a couple other questions. I figure we'll answer them live since we have some time here. Um, there's a question um, here from Dario. Um, does Wilkes take the post 9-11 GI Bill? I don't know um, if you know the answer to that. Yeah, so we are um, a military friendly institution um, here at Wilkes and we have uh, specific members here on campus that work with um, our students coming from military families. So that is something that um, we, would, uh, we would consider. Uh, and I don't know if Kishan, you have any additional information uh, to provide, but I do know that um, we are um, a military friendly school. Yeah, I, um, I'm, I'm fairly certain that we do, um, we do uh, work with that bill in particular um, in financial aid. Uh, and would be able to help you. We are also yellow ribbon um, institutions, so we can help with that funding. Um, you can specifically work with a financial aid counselor uh, if you have direct questions about that. And um, unfortunately, we don't have anybody from financial aid today, um, but we'd be happy to connect you with them. But I'm, I'm fairly certain that we do accept that funding. Awesome, thanks. Um, another question um, for those students that are taking the SAT, um, what score do we need to get for the SAT? So our average, our typically when, when we have an SAT, our, typically our average score for students being admitted to Wilkes um, is about 1,000, um, anywhere from the range of 900 to um, 1,200 is, is a typical score for, for our students. Um, so if you are submitting those scores, um, those are the scores that we look for. Now, it does depend on, on programs um, and how that score may affect specific programs. Um, but overall, that's the average score that, that we're looking for with regards to um, test scores. If students are, have the ACT or are taking the ACT, um, the average score is about a 22. Um, so those are some of those, those averages that our students typically have that are admitted here at Wilkes. Awesome. Um, another question from Carson. Um, are merit scholarships guaranteed to be renewed each year? And if so, what is this, what are the specific requirements to keep um, undergraduate merit aid? So students do have to meet um, a minimum criteria to uh, maintain their scholarships. Well, typically our students um, would have to maintain a, a higher, high enough GPA to do that. Um, typically a 2.5 um, GPA um, in order to, to maintain those um, scholarships. So we'll communicate that to our students um, at the time of admission, um, what that would be. And that's um, that process throughout. And those things um, are, are communicated to our students um, in a timely manner so that they have that information available. Awesome. Um, I'll jump in. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, let me just jump in for a sec too. Um, 
I'll just also say that um, every year, um, so your merit scholarship does um, follow with you. And then every year we ask that students submit the FAFSA so that we can take another look um, and offer you the most, uh, the best package possible for your particular situation. So um, you'll do the FAFSA this year, starting in October, and then um, we'll give you that financial aid package. And then after, you know, in your sophomore year, junior, senior, every year you'll complete a FAFSA, and that allows the financial aid team to take a look at um, how to maximize um, the resources for you based on what's going on in your particular circumstance in your life. But those merit, merit awards um, follow you through given that you're, you are um, a, maintaining that GPA um, and progressing towards graduation. I have three questions here on pharmacy. I kind of want to bundle them up together. So. Um, one question is asking about the topic or focus of the pharmacy essay. Maureen, do you want to take that one? Sure, I was actually typing, so I didn't hear. I was answering a question, so I didn't Sorry, know. Sorry, the, okay. the question is what should be the topic or focus of the pharmacy essay? Sure, so um, it's basically why you want to be a pharmacist, why you should be accepted to Wilkes, why you're interested in Wilkes, um, and, and pharmacy specific, again, as to why you want to be a pharmacist and why you um, want to come to Wilkes and why you should be accepted into the program. But once you do the application, uh, you'll get a, a username, basically a username and password. So in the email, it'll say, thank you for applying. Um, here's your username and password. And it will... Um, have you go in and it'll give you the exact wording of the prompt that they um, want for it. So it's not just the generic um, essay or topic, it's specific to pharmacy, why you want to be a pharmacist and why you should be accepted into the university. Thanks, Maureen. Um, I do have another question here. Um, is there a certain GP required for the pharmacy program? Um, so we can answer that one and then I do have one more pharmacy question. Yeah, so there is a specific GPA that we look for. Uh, it's not just based off of, of GPA. I, I do want to highlight that. We do look um, at the specific classes that students are taking as well. So uh, the rigor of classes is also important, but you know, typically they do look for over a high achieving 3.0. So I say high achieving 3.0, students can have a 3.0 and have a number of AP classes or dual enrollment courses. So, you know, it, it's, it's looked at very holistically in regards to the GPA. Um, and our pharmacy committee does um, take a, a good look at that. Um, so uh, there, I know there's another question about dual enrollment classes. So we do accept those credits. Typically students having a 2.0 or a C or better, um, those classes will transfer to Wilkes um, as well as AP credits. There are specific scores that students um, do need to get for those credits to transfer. So we do take those, uh, but that's typically how that process works. It's, it's, a, it's a holistic process that the pharmacy committee uses in determining whether or not students will qualify for an interview. Um, now, if students don't qualify for an interview, there's also a, a parallel pre-pharmacy courses that students can take while they're still here at Wilkes um, in order to apply to the pharmacy program once they're here. So if students aren't offered the guaranteed seat program, there's still an opportunity for students to attend a parallel um, curriculum to in order in order to apply again. Um, and I did see the other question, Jackie, about the scholarship information. Um, so the merit scholarship for pharmacy students would follow that for the first four years. Uh, for the two professional years, the students will retain 30% of their merit-based scholarship per year in those final two years. So uh, there still is some um, incentive and in merit um, award, a merit award for those final two years as well. Um, so I know that that's always a popular question. Um, so although it's not the full merit aid, there is still a 30% portion of that merit aid that will carry um, through for those two years. Awesome, thanks. Um... I have another question, a follow-up from Carson. Um, he just wants to make sure he understands, right? Is the merit aid, um, he's, he's asking, is the merit aid merit 
aid he's asking in quotes or is it tied to your parents financial situation i'm looking for aid that will um, be evaluated based on my gpa only yeah so our merit aid is based off of a student's um, academic credentials um, it's the any additional financial aid is through the fafsa so the merit aid is solely based off of students um, academic credentials um, and accomplishments in regards to their academics. So it's a holistic approach based off a of student's um, GPA, um, what classes they're taking, the rigor classes. Um, there's a holistic approach to that formula um, in regards to uh, the merit aid. Thanks so much. Um, one other question here um, about specifically about this year's situation. Um, this person says, I was not able to take the SAT or ACT because of the pandemic. I know you said it's not needed, but will it boost your chances to get accepted? So because of, because of this year, obviously, I mentioned earlier, we're test optional. Um, as students that don't have that opportunity, it's not going to hurt them in any way. Um, we understand that they, it wasn't available for a lot of students. So um, whether or not a student has an, an SAT or ACT, um, isn't gonna isn't gonna play a, a role typically um, as it would in years past just because it hasn't been available to a lot of students. So you know we're really focused on evaluating students on their GPA this this cycle and particularly for the fall 2021 and then any cycle after this will, will be reevaluated um, because things change are changing so much um, and so quickly. Um, we're trying to really keep the focus on our students. Um, and what they're able to to submit to us. So, you know, because a lot of students don't have the access to take the SAT or ACT, um, you know, we're really focusing on uh, the students' GPA, their extracurricular activities, um, and, and all those factors are definitely going to weigh heavier this year um, than any previous years where students would be submitting SAT or ACT scores. Thanks, Chris. And we do have um, one last question and we can wrap it up. Um, will taking part in our uh, Emerging Colonel Leader Award help us in our admissions? Being a, a Emerging Colonel Leader recipient um, is, is, a, is a big accomplishment. So congratulations um, for that. Um, it, is, um, it is an important award for you and, and it's an important program here at Wilkes. Um, so we really look at those students as uh, as strong students uh, and we really feel that they would be assets to to our community um, it's it, although you're an emerging leader we still look at everything in, in holistically so that's a part of your resume um, so it is something that that we do look at and we do consider uh, but we still um, also look at everything um, everything holistically so you know the gpa um, everything the classes that you're taking are still going to be an important part of that but um, that is also um, something that, that we will look at and we do consider um, in the process. Thanks, Chris. That was our last question here. That's great. I, I, I think I, we're running up against your next session, so I don't want to keep everyone too long. Um, I, I really thank everyone for, for participating. Um, Kishan and, and Dr. Kant um, were great. Uh, and like I said, I probably can go on for, for hours. Um, please reach out to your admissions counselor. Please reach out to me, reach out to any of us. Um, we be, we're here, we're more than happy to help you through this process and we really thank you. Uh, and you know, we hope that you can join us. Um, we do have visits um, and, and we do have opportunities. Hopefully we'll continue to be able to open more up um, as each day goes by. So please um, keep in touch with us. We, we hope to see you on campus soon. Um, if we have to see you virtually again, um, we're excited about that as well. Um, and thanks for joining us and good luck for, in your senior years for seniors and, and good luck in your school year. Thanks everyone.